The international break gives us an opportunity to sort of step back from the madness of having two or three games a week and speaking about the bigger issues at United. And whether or not Ole Gunnar Solskjaer should be sacked has been clearly the biggest topic this season. One or two bad results and it starts getting shouted from somewhere again. So in this video, I want to give you my honest opinion on whether I think Solskjaer should be sacked and I want to explain it in more detail. I've addressed it in previous videos, but I want to go into more detail in this one. And I've also asked your opinion on whether Solskjaer should be sacked on Twitter. So I'm going to run through all of those opinions towards the end of the video, because it's important to, I suppose, listen to what everybody has to say on the topic. But let's get straight into this. There's no point wasting any time at the start of this video. I do not think that United should even remotely be thinking about sacking Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Now, I know that some of you will disagree with this, but this is my opinion. Now, Solskjaer, do I think he's going to be United's version of Jurgen Klopp, the man who came in and transformed an average bloated Liverpool team into European champions within three years? No. I don't even think that Solskjaer will win silverware with United. But I also don't think that silverware is the most important thing for United at the moment, such as the condition of our club. Take a look at what happened under Louis van Gaal, Jose Mourinho. Did winning the FA Cup change anything for van Gaal or for United? No. He lost his job soon after and nothing changed at the club. Did winning the League Cup change anything for Mourinho? No, it didn't. Did winning the Europa League? Well, it was a platform because we got back into the Champions League, but then Sevilla happened. Winning these trophies is not what is going to transform United's fortunes as a club. Such is the condition that we are in and we are so far off the Champions League and the Premier League. And they are the two trophies that we as a club, a modern club, measure our success by. Now winning the League Cup, the FA Cup, the Europa League, they could have been building blocks for success. But they just got buried in the swamp that was United under Van Gaal and Mourinho. Because the conditions of the club weren't ready for proper success, they disappeared. There were great memories. Ajax in the final, Southampton, that goal from Lingard against Palace. Great moments for the club, but they weren't catalysts for change, which is what United fans want. And we all agree that the Premier League and the Champions League are the two bastions of success, the two aims that United fans have. And so many people will say that me sympathising with Solskjaer is me lowering my expectations of what I want United to be, but that's not the case at all. That's why I'm aiming for the Premier League and the Champions League. I just don't think that United are ready for it at the moment. I just don't feel that United are anywhere near the Premier League or the Champions League right now, which is why I think that Solskjaer is the right man, the best man to steer this direction since Fergie. Now, it's not to say that I don't have grievances about what I've seen under Solskjaer. Coming up to a year in charge, or about a year in charge now, Still that plan A, when it works, it's great, but where's plan B? Some of his tactical decisions, mid-game, we're so good up to 45 minutes, but why can't we see that through for the full 90? Some of his decisions, there's a lot. I mean, especially the inconsistent football and results. There are plenty of reasons why I know you're going to be frustrated with Solskjaer as a manager, but I think it overlooks the main priorities that he has right now. But looking at the larger picture, Solskjaer has every intention to do things right at United. And if this summer wasn't a coincidence, Solskjaer was a new variable in us making good signings. Harry Maguire, probably been the least impressive of the three signings, but still a good signing. Wan Bissaka, fantastic signing. And Dan James, clearly we've unearthed a gem there. And Solskjaer was a new variable with Mike Phelan, Kieran McKenna and Michael Carrick. Ed Woodward's still there. The Glazers are still there. But finally, in a summer... It looked like we made the right signings. We didn't make enough signings. And that's another stick to beat Solskjaer with, but he's not responsible for that money. That's the Glazers, and we all know that. And especially if you look at the clear out that happened. Fellaini gone, Valencia's contract not renewed, Herrera gone because he wanted too much money, Darmian, Lukaku sold, Sanchez sold, Smalling loans so Tuan Zebe can come through. It's the clear out that we've wanted for a long, long time. And we still need the likes of Young, probably to go, definitely to go. Jones, maybe Luke Shaw as well. Matic. There's others that still need to go. But that's one thing I think Solskjaer does have in common with Jurgen Klopp. 
When Jurgen Klopp came in, he got rid of so many players that just weren't ready or good enough still for Liverpool. And then the signings he made were smart for the right reasons. That's something I think Solskjaer has done at United. And what I think he is doing is building the foundations for success to be built on top of it. Because when he came in, the conditions were just not ready for United to be competing for the Premier League and the Champions League was still so far off it. But Solskjaer is making all the moves in the right direction. And I don't think you could say that about Moyes, Van Gaal or Mourinho. As I said earlier in the video, I don't think that Solskjaer is going to be United's Klopp. And I don't think he ever was going to be. I think Solskjaer is laying the foundations, making the bed for whoever comes in next to succeed, whether that would be Pochettino or somebody else entirely. I firmly believe that he will leave this club in a far better condition culturally, with the squad, everything, in comparison to how he found it. And there was a great comment on an old video, I think it was the one where I was talking about Neville and whether Solskjaer should be sacked after the 1-0 defeat to Newcastle, that said, look, if you sack Ole, it's like replacing the driver of a car that needs a new engine. And that's United. It's a brilliant comment. That, that analogy sums up exactly why I think keeping Solskjaer is the right decision for United. We've had great managers before. Jose Mourinho is one of the modern day great managers and he couldn't succeed there. Van Gaal, a man who is clear with his identity and his philosophy, it didn't work. Moyes was the man who was supposed to mimic Fergie, but he could not have got it any worse. And he inherited a team of champions. Solskjaer is clearly, I don't think, good enough tactically as an individual manager to take Man United back to the very, very top. But I'm happy to continue down this process and I believe in this vision and this direction that he's taking United, that he will leave us in a much better place when he is not our manager anymore and whoever comes in next will have the conditions to succeed. Because we are nowhere near Liverpool. We are nowhere near City. And bringing in any manager in the world, giving them a couple of hundred million, bringing in new players, is not going to change that overnight. That's measure of the job that Solskjaer has. Priorities, yes, results on the pitch, but just as much of a priority. And for me, more of a priority is realigning everything that's wrong with United and getting it in the right direction. And I think he's doing that. Before I do move on to your opinions, there have been some that have said that my support of Solskjaer is some sort of United-funded propaganda and that I'm in bed with the Glazers and I'm a Glazers sympathist. Can I just say a couple of things? Number one, fuck the Glazers. Number two, fuck Ed Woodward. I am a United fan and this is just me voicing my opinions on my football club that I support. It's got nothing to do with any support from the Glazers who are an absolutely horrendous set of owners or Ed Woodward who is an absolutely horrendous CEO. This is just me voicing my own opinions on United. Nothing more than that. Now, I also asked on Twitter for your opinions on whether you think that Solskjaer should be sacked or whether he should keep his job. I'm going to run through as many as I can now, but there were an absolute ton of replies. First up from Stevie G's red card, like the username. Stay. I believe in him and his project, but it will take time. Of course, he's lacking experience, but every great coach was at one point. He talks about work rate, commitment, playing for the badge, attacking, expressing yourself. That's OK by me. Now, Solskjaer is a cliche machine, but some cliches are there for a reason. And United, as you've seen with James, with Wambasaka, with Tomine coming through, there's a better set of players coming through. Martial seems to be improving under Solskjaer, where he just went backwards under Mourinho when he was kicked out of the team when Sanchez came in. There are players that are improving. There's attitudes that are improving. So I agree with Stevie G's red card there. Another comment here from Zach Rockhill saying that Solskjaer doesn't have the best CV, but he's trying to clear up six years of mess. He wants to see him stay. Boney Assassin, he wants him to stay as well. Talking about the fact that United, again, the six years of mess, you can't sort it out in one transfer window. I agree with you there. Filzy saying, in, Ole's got a plan and it finally seems to be working. Has the youngest starting lineup and clearly wants to build with young, talented, hungry players. We've seen Martial, Rashford, James, Wambasaka, and Scott under him. Improvement, 
Sacking him is not something he wants to see happen. There's plenty of support here for Solskjaer. Special head saying in all day long, talking about the other managers that didn't get it right. Talks about the playing style and the culture and the rebuild. At least two full seasons. Be interesting to see how long Solskjaer actually does get. But again, I agree with that. Two full seasons. Maybe two... I don't know. But Solskjaer is staying, certainly at the moment. Schwab saying, I think we've had cycles of sacking managers. They've built teams. It's a cycle until the board changes or we get a director of football in. Oli's the best we've got. Hell, maybe in Solskjaer will be a director of football down the line. He certainly seems to have more of a vision of what he wants United to be. Saad saying, why are we even having this debate based upon what he's done until now, keeping in mind the injuries and lack of midfielders? He deserves to stay. And we certainly didn't make enough signings in the summer. And have we signed someone like Bruno Fernandes? Maybe our struggles in the final third will be a lot different. But only, I think, with the four, fourth best creating team in the Premier League. Goes to show how poor our finishing has been. Johnny609 saying, sack, he disagrees. Ole is not the right man to take us forward. We only have a plan A. Don't get me wrong, plan A is brilliant when it works against teams that attack. But when it doesn't, we have no plan B. Our ball retention is terrible. And that should be coached into the players by now. I agree with Johnny that there's clearly aspects of the game that the, the players should have taken on board more from Solskjaer if he's a better coach. But I disagree. And I, in fact, I don't disagree with the fact that we haven't got a plan B. But I would disagree in that that's a reason to sack him. I think it's, it's, it's an element of it. And it's a frustration I have with the football. But it's certainly not a reason alone to sack him. Tyree saying stay. Talking about what Solskjaer did at the start when he was manager saying that we haven't replaced the players, but that's not a reason to sack him. We certainly haven't replaced the players properly. We know that. It's a thin squad, but it's allowing other players to come through. And it was a decision that Solskjaer made. Digital Jersey saying he should stay. Says he knows what to do to get United back to the top, and he needs time and investment. Now, that's the big, I suppose, debate that so many of you have. You can't just say give Solskjaer time. And that's something I do agree on. So maybe this is a good comment. There's, honestly, there are so many more comments. Thank you all for sending them in. And I'll probably do more videos like this because I need to get more of your opinions on the channel because it's not just about me. But it seems like a good one to end on there because with Solskjaer, it's not just about giving him time. We all know that because you can't just use that as a, as a justification. But what I've hopefully done in this video is explained my reasonings behind why I think time is the right thing to do. Now, so many of you I know will still disagree with this. It's, it, it seems to be more split than it was under Van Gaal Mourinho, where it was obvious when it reached the point of being ready for the sack and there was just no turning back. Whereas right now, it's, it does change on results. One or two results that are bad, the calls come out again. One or two results that are good, they go quiet again. Let me know where you stand on this whole thing. But for me, my honest opinion on sacking Solskjaer is that we shouldn't even be considering it at the moment. He's laying the foundations for rebuilding United properly for the first time since Fergie. And we need that rebuild. I still question whether it can properly happen without a director of football. But maybe Solskjaer is more of a director of football than he is a manager. As I said, I don't think he'll be our Jurgen Klopp, that one that gets us back to winning European trophies. But I think he will mimic and replicate the success that Klopp had in getting rid of a load of shit players and improving the squad massively so that whoever comes in next will have much better conditions for success at United as manager. Now, let me know where you stand on this. So hopefully I've explained my opinion. It's been really good to read out your opinions as well. If you are new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe down below. Until next time, though, take it easy.